But there were three that we liked. Um, Free as a bird, real love. And so those were the two that we did. And there was another one that we started working on, but George went off it. <sighs> fucking hell. Fucking rubbish, this is. It was like, no, George, this is John. It's still fucking rubbish, you know. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Hi guys, I've just watched the Now and Then short film. Uh, the little clip I played at the beginning um, was not mentioned in it. Uh, and that is, of course, George Harrison saying it was rubbish. Difficult to know what he was actually calling rubbish, but I get from what Paul McCartney said that he just thought the song was rubbish, what they were doing was rubbish. But maybe there's a different interpretation of it. Um, you tell me. Put it in the comments. Another thing that I gleamed, I never use that word, here it is, you were here for when I used it. Uh, another thing I gleamed from this uh, short film was that Paul McCartney is going to be playing the solo on it, um, but he's going to be playing it like George. So I don't really know what George's involvement is now going to be on that track. I'm guessing George did other things. Um... But, you know, you need a good George solo and it's not going to be George. We got to hear the John Lennon isolated vocal and I've got to say that is pretty damn good. So I was kind of worried about that. I've got a program that can also remove vocals. Um, I'll play my attempt now. And now and then If we Start again. So as you can hear, my attempt is nowhere near as good as what they've managed to achieve. So I'm actually quite excited about that. The problem I have is that I, at the moment, don't like the song. Like George Harrison said, it's fucking rubbish. <laughs> Maybe George was right. Um, but yeah, it's just, I, I don't know. I don't like the song at the moment. Only a couple of days until we actually find out if it's any good. Um, I will be doing a reaction video to that, so please do uh, tune in for that. Uh, you'll see me giving it this. So that's something to look forward to. God, it, it, it <coughs> at the moment it always sounds like I'm on a right downer about the Beatles, but I, I tell you now, I'm excited for the Red and Blue album. I'm excited for Now and Then, even though that is a extremely overpriced seven inch. See, I'm still moaning. I'm still moaning. I can't, I can't help it. Have you watched the short film? Please do comment. And let me know what you thought of it. When I was watching, um, there was one thing which um, I found quite surprising within myself. He mentioned, I think, a couple of times, obviously, that John Lennon was n is no longer with us. And I was like, yeah, OK, yeah, I know that. OK, yep, yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah. And uh, but weirdly, when he said, oh, in 2001, we lost George. I I did feel really sad about that. Just a, a weird reaction that I had. I, I, I don't know why. It, but it, well, it's sad. It's sad we lost George. But um why why have that reaction for George but not for John? I don't know. So I'm assuming that you've watched the video at least before watching me talk about it. Um, so I want to know your thoughts. What did what did you think? Um, are you excited? I am excited. Are you excited? Let me know in the comments below. Oh, on YouTube there is a countdown. There's a there's the, the video when I checked when I checked about 40 minutes ago it said there was 40 hours until um, they released the video for now and then. I, I didn't even cross my mind there was going to be a video. There's going to be a video. Anyway I'm going to go. This was supposed to be a short video. Please do like, subscribe if you're interested in my thoughts. Someone's got to be. It's, it's not my missus. Bored shitless. Thank you for watching. See you in a couple of days when I react to the actual song. See you then.